Okay, I want to show some of the things I got at Game to Born to Game. First thing first, I got a trading card game. It's a card profile. Okay, safeguard your collection with this portable card profile, which holds. 64 standard cards and 8 oversized cards. We'll continue to read that in a moment. I'm just going to get everything out of the bag. I don't know why I don't do that beforehand, but I didn't. For some reason, my brain was like, nope. But I've also been really busy all day. I accidentally cut myself with, um, we are fixing up my closet. After we fix up my closet, I am going to work on my bedroom, my living room, and my workspace is just the worst. And I'm like... <sighs> and yeah, yeah, I look awful today. I'm sorry. I've been busy all day. Literally fixing up my closet. I got this. Sec okay, secure your team. Store and transport your cards in this beautiful illustrated deck box, deck box which holds 80 sleeve cards available in two designs. Which will you choose? Uh... I took my long because it was cheaper to be honest. She's cool. She's really awesome, but it was cheaper. I will admit that's why I took this one. Because I love dragons as well. Milan is really cool warrior princess. I'm not gonna deny that, like she is really cool. And, like her movie is amazing. Have I seen the live action one? No. Should I? Let me know in the comments below. But this is where I'm going to store the cards that I'm going to use for play. If I don't hurt myself. I'll regret that later. But. Just a base, like, really, like, box. The design on the back, the design on the front. And then we'll be putting these cards somehow in there. It might be a different video. Just like this one. Okay, collection, yep. Look for other Disney Locana accessories, including playmat, card sleeves, and deck boxes. Well, playmat, I might actually want to get one day. This was the only one they had, the Evil Queen. Would I prefer Maleficent? Yeah. Evil Queen, cool? Sure. I drop things a lot. Check, check, and check. Okay. I also bought, like, <laughs> these were like a dollar comics. Richie Rich, the richest kid in the world. I've been reading him. Walt Disney, Lady and the Tramp. I love animals. I am an animal person. And I will be talking about comic books on my podcast. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Those must be dusty. Or I have dust in my room. Uh, who knows at this point. We've been... I found this. <sighs> Fun fact. It was 50% off. He gave me $10. So... Wonder Woman made her debut near the end of 1941. She wasn't the first costume heroine in comic books, not even close, yet she is instantly recognized. Even by people who haven't read a comic book or seen a TV re rerun in years, Wonder Woman came into existence in 1941 in a world largely at war even if the USA was still walking a tightrope of official I'm not sure how to say that word naturally after the attack at Pearl Harbor Wonder Woman became the first female superhero introduced into the all-male justice society of America she saw more war related action during the second war World War than any other costume superhero at DC. On many comic books, just like Hollywood, producer produced less war 
originated material after 1942 and or 43. Wonder Woman kept at it. She was determined to prove that she started sprinkling short shots and eagles weren't just for show from 1941 until the wars and ends. This is from 1941 to 1945. I think this might be the originals just in one comic so that will be an interesting thing to read, review, and talk about on my podcast at some point. Okay. Now if you know anything about me and if you're new to this then you don't know. I love, love, love indie comics. And I found this. It was 50% off too. It's Archie. I wanted to find another Sabrina one like this, but I mean, I was like, Archie? Really? These aren't the like creepy versions or even Riverdale version. This is like the original type of Archie comics. Maybe not the OG OG, but like these are like the surfing type of Archie. The best of Stan Goldberg. Stan Goldberg was born in New York City and started working in the field of comics while still a teenager in the 1940s. In the early 70s, Stan founded what was to be his true calling. Stan G was an absolute joy to work with. His artwork was always top quality. Archie Comics, so I'm not sure what year these comics are from. Oh look, introduction. It's through Stan Lee's in here too. Stan Goldberg without illustrating. So that'll be interesting. We'll definitely talk about the whole thing on my podcast. I may have some of these like separate. But that is just like a whole like nice one on 50%. I guess because it was used. And I was like, that looks nice. We also have the classic. I like these type ones. It gives you the like classic versions. The Civil Age, the Justice League America, volume one. I have a couple of them. I have Superman and I have a bunch more that I will have to go through. The world's greatest heroes, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, The Martin Manhunter, Green Arrow. As individuals, their names are legend. Together, they are even greater than the sun, sum of their parts. They are the Justice League of America. They stand for truth, justice, and the American way. Since they were first commissioned by renowned DC comic editor Julius in 1960, the Justice League has thrilled audiences across the globe. And this one was 19.99 in the US, 23.99 in Canada. I love these types because I think these are like the original like stories. The last thing we got is more Disney Locana. Locana. With this Locana deck, you'll summon new versions of Disney characters as glamorous, some familiar and some fantastic. Reimagined. Send your characters on quests for lore or use them to challenge your opponent. The Heart of Magic. In the starter deck, lore amber glitter unit to protect and support each other while magically glimmer harms this power to achieve your goal. Together, this hearty Alliance may help you uncover this selection. So I had to buy a new one because I uh, messed up the other ones. Long story short. It says, ready to play deck. This is the first chapter starter deck. And the rest of this will go in that little bag. This might actually be the plain mat. Might have to buy one more star deck so my stepdad can play against me. This has to be the instructions. I want to see what cards we have here though. Okay, 
see me in a minute, I guess. <laughs>